Hey guys, it's Mara, and today I want to show you how to run quality control and give you kind of an idea how to run a patient on the Coagulcheck XS Plus. So here's what the screen looks like. Um, if you were running a patient, therefore you would click the patient test, but since we're running the control test, we're going to click on control test first. So you can kind of see that, so we'll click there. Then that's the loading screen. So now it says you want to enter in your little stick, your testing strip, this is what it looks like. So you're gonna insert it here at the bottom you want to put it in nice and firm. Then the next screen, it has all the uh, codes for the QC test. So what you want to do is check your bottle of QC that you're going to use. And this one is 208. And so then we're going to click on the 208 code. And first we'll do level one. And that one was level two, but here's our level one, 208. And this is the saline or whatever's in here that will go in the bottle. So here's your scissors and you're gonna cut off the top of that like so, kind of a slant. And then you're going to unscrew this and add it in. Now you can see it counts down. So right now it's at 186. So you want to make sure this is good and mixed up. You can put the lid back on. You don't want to really get any bubbles in here. But then, what you want to do is go ahead and add it right here where the little drop marks are in between there. And then, if you can see on the screen here, the pipette, well, the pipette screen came up. And you got a 1.1, which is within the QC range of 0 0.8 to 1.2. Okay. So now that's done, you want to write that in your QC log. And then we're going to click on Control Test again. And then it wants the strip. So we'll put that in. And you can go ahead and make up your QC right now. So we want 208. And then we'll click level 2 this time. But it's supposed to be done within, I think, a little over a minute from when you make it up. So you don't want to do it, you don't want to wait too long. So I added it in. You can see that pellet at the bottom begins to dissolve. So it counts down from 180 seconds. So once that's mixed up well, we will add it on the test strip. And then you can see the pipette. And then it begins to read it. Two 
2.2, so that's within the range also. So that's all you guys have to do. Now, if this was a patient, the only difference be instead of clicking on control test, you would click on patient test, you would have the little waiting period be while it loads, you would add the, um, the strip just the same. The only difference is while everything's getting ready, you can prep the patient's finger by um, cleaning it with an alcohol swab and then letting it dry and then by puncturing it with the finger lancet and then applying the first drop um, onto the same area where we applied our QC. And then it will give you a reading just the same as it would the quality control. So I hope you guys found this video informative and helpful in case you have to run a Coagi Chick uh, X Plus or another um, finger stick pro time instrument handheld. Um, they're helpful in uh, point of care. So some nurses um, perform tests on them and some medical technologists. It just depends. Um, some phlebotomists too. Um, in ER situations, they may perform a finger stick versus a venous stick for a pro time if it's the results need to be done rapidly, as in a, um, a stroke situation. They try to perform them um, on this finger stick first, and then they'll also run uh, venous blood for pro time after they've put in the IV or they've collected blood um, by a phlebotomist. So yeah, there's different situations where you may have it. Um, you may have it done in clinics um, with, for pro time um, anticoagulation therapy if someone's on Coumadin or Warfarin and they may have to come in and get their pro time checked uh, weekly or once every two weeks or sometimes once a month. So yeah, uh, see you guys later. Check out some of my other videos if you want to. I'll link them in here and see you guys. Bye.